we are hitting record, Trev, and we're gonna dive right into today's video. My lips are so dry, I need to just put, oh. Oh, this Clarins lip oil is everything, you guys. It makes your lips so luxurious looking. Mm. Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to today's video where we're just hanging out. Pretend I was like, boop, boop, boop. Hello, come over. Ooh, bring your most comfortable pajamas. Because today, guys, we're just hanging out. I'm in the mood to just luxuriate and pamper myself. You guys know that's one of my favorite things to do. Mm. And my second favorite thing to do is talk to you guys. So before I pamper myself and dive into today's video, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe right down below, guys. It is right next to that bells, bells notification. Get it together, Trevor. It's right next to that thumbs up button and that bell notification. Make sure you're turning on post notifications so you don't miss a single video. I feel so comfortable with you guys. This is actually the most comfortable I've ever felt. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's video because I'm dying to pamper myself. I've got all of my favorite skincare products around me and this old face is ready for a tune-up. It's ready for a little refinement and refreshment for the rest of the week. Let's dive right into today's video. Okay guys, I just love this style of sit down video and talking with you guys. I love the idea of like face mask and chat or luxuriate and chat, pamperation and chat. I just love to pamper myself and I love it even more to do it with you guys. Pampering yourself is like so universal and who doesn't love to pamper themselves? I'm gonna be starting this pamperation process off by cleaning and exfoliating my skin. I'm gonna be using the Micro Magic Spa Powered Microdermabrasion Treatment by Bliss. Now, you guys know, I generally don't like to use physical exfoliators because they're a little bit harsh on the skin and they can actually irritate the skin or break you out. But to be honest, I just have so many skincare products under my sink, you guys. If you could see it down there, I feel like it's like Indiana Jones, like there's gonna be a trap when I go to look for a moisturizer or a face mask. I don't know, a big spear could come shooting out of under my bathroom sink or like one of those, a big ball could come rolling down. Do you guys just have like a crazy bathroom cabinet or bathroom sink under the cupboard? I've actually thought about filming a tour of under my bathroom sink, but honestly, it's just so crazy. I don't think I'm ready to share it with you guys yet because I feel like it would be more of an episode of hoarders like, or my strange addiction, like addicted to skincare. I'm just not ready to share with you guys yet. Anyway, I said all of that just to tell you guys that's why I'm using this physical exfoliator by Bliss, something that I don't use that often. This exfoliator contains pumice stone, not any of those like harsh exfoliating beads that get washed down the drain left in the environment forever. So because it's pumice stone, I do feel a little bit better about using it, but it's definitely not something I'd use all the time because you guys know I love my chemical exfoliators. I need to pick up a new one from Bosha. That just reminded me. I'm just going to give my face a quick rinse. I'll meet you guys right back here. Ooh, my skin feels so clean and so ready to accept all of the beautiful pamperation I'm about to bestow upon it. I have all my serums, creams, lotions, and potions to apply. I'm going to start this process off by using a serum that I actually just got. This is the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. I wanted just a really basic, simple, hydrating, soothing serum to use in my skincare routine. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I really like it. It just slides right over the skin so beautifully. It's really hydrating and soothing. I'm going to use a second pump and bring it all the way down my neck. You guys, I don't know about you, but I was at the gym this morning and if any of you guys go to the gym, let me know if this happens to you. There's a guy that goes to my gym and has gone to my gym. I've been going to the same gym for a couple of years now And there's this one guy who grunts all the time I work out in the morning and he's there almost every single time that I'm there We're obviously both on the same routine, but this guy you guys grunts non-stop He raps out loud to his music like it looks like he's Gone a little bit Cuckoo, cuckoo. I mean honestly, I don't care if you're a grunter if you want to rap out loud if you want to knit your mother a sweater while you're also working out like I don't care do you do whatever you want I don't care but like when you start grunting so loud and like rapping out loud a I think you're crazy so I'm looking over my shoulder because I don't want to get attacked and B you're just annoying me. You're annoying me so much that I can hear you over my headphones. Let me know in the comments down below do you guys have any grunters at your gym and how do you deal with a gym grunter because it's just gonna start driving me crazy to the point where like maybe I'll start grunting so loud Maybe I'll just start growling like <laughs> As you guys can see this serum went on the skin really smoothly and it's definitely leaving my skin really smooth Hydrated snatched. I mean look at this you guys. This is like some good hydrated skin I hope you guys are following along with your favorite face mask or you're like painting your fingernails or you're just taking a moment for you to beautify because this is like our moment. Up next, I'm gonna use these really cute, calming cheek patches. Now my friend Mariah, shout out girl if you're watching this, actually brought me back these calming cheek patch mask from South Korea. This is straight from South Korea. How cool is that? You guys, these are little jelly masks that go on your cheeks. <gasps> I'm deceased. Look, it's this little character on the front here. How do we open these up, you guys? This is so exciting. Oh, you guys, these are so... Wait, this is so confusing. Where is... 
You guys, where's the mask? Hold on. Wait, there's only... <gasps> the other one fell out, you guys. There's only one in this package. The other one is still inside here. Oh my gosh, I almost threw this out. Good thing I checked inside the package. All right, so let's peel these off and get these on my cheeks. And I need to tell you guys, ew, these are the cutest texture. They're like little jelly patches. Let's go ahead and put these on the cheeks because we can always use some extra hydration on my cheeks. Ooh, these are so cute, you guys. Look at that. <gasps> All right, guys. So I don't know about you, but I discovered... X-Files for the first time on Netflix. I grew up and X-Files was always on the TV, but I've never watched it. For some reason, I just clicked on X-Files and literally six episodes later of season one, I'm still... <gasps> These are so adorable. Anyway, so I start watching X-Files. I'm literally six episodes in. For my whole life, I've never been into ghosts, aliens. In fact, aliens scare the living out of me so I don't even like to think about aliens so I don't know why I decided to watch the X-Files. I'm obsessed you guys. I'm obsessed with Mulder and Scully and like all the adventures that they're going on um, and I don't usually like to watch TV shows but let me tell you the X-Files I'm all about it. I think I'm watching too much X-Files. I mean all of these crazy theories are running from my brain. <gasps> that brings me to something completely different you guys. Does anyone out there watch Kendall Ray's conspiracy videos on YouTube? Shout out to Kendall Ray. I mean, I don't think she would ever watch this, but I'm also addicted to Kendall Ray's conspiracies. You guys, I feel like I'm gone down the black hole of conspiracies. Someone call Shane Dawson like, I need help. But that's a little better. I think that the cheek masks were sliding down as I talked to you guys. Um, speaking of South Korea and these masks coming literally from South Korea, how cool would it be, you guys, if one day I could take my channel to South Korea to try some really cool skincare products? Wouldn't that be, like, the coolest channel ever? That's definitely my goal. That's definitely my dream, that I could travel around the world. Rather than sitting here and trying all the different products from all over the world, I would love to travel. That way I could vlog going to the destination to try all of these crazy skincare products and different skincare procedures. I mean, imagine if I went to, like, somewhere cool like Brazil to try some type of really unique facial treatment, LA or Hollywood, and try some, like, really cool facial or some like really neat sculpting tool. I mean, the possibilities are basically endless. That's just like my dream come true. What do you guys think about that? Wouldn't that be so cool? You guys, I could not decide which cologne or perfume to put on today. So I just got my whole little, I have this watermelon pouch full of cologne and perfume samples. As you guys have seen, I've done an entire cologne and perfume video before, and I actually have 10 staple colognes and perfumes that I buy in the big bottle. And I rotate through those fragrances quite consistently and I buy them over and over. But I love to collect this little pouch full of all kinds of samples. This is what I love to take when I travel. That way I get to have all these different scents, these unique and exotic scents whenever I travel. And whenever I'm feeling like something new, you guys know sometimes you just want to feel like new and fresh, something that makes you feel like a little bit different than normal and kind of out there and unique. I don't know, you guys. What should we try? Let's just take a little handful and go through. Now, this one is the Hermes, Hermes Paris. I actually don't like this fragrance. I find it really quite woody and really almost like fire kind of like smoke or fire so i know i'm gonna skip that one that one is just not for me today i already have this code black so i'm gonna put this back in here which one is this elizabeth and james nirvana white mm, i don't know if i'm in the mood for that one that one smells a little bit powdery which one is this la nuit de homme by ysl this actually smells a little bit similar to to the Elizabeth and James. I always just do this randomly. I take a handful and then I pick one of the scents in there. This one is the Azaro Wanted. Oh, definitely not that one. So guys, I think we're gonna go for the Le Nuit de Homme by YSL. Oh, a fragrance can just change everything about the day. Oh yeah, this, oh, ooh. Ooh, this is really unique scent. This is really overpowering. Oh my goodness, this smells expen- Ooh, it definitely smells expensive, but on the top notes, I definitely get a scent of alcohol. Sometimes I find that happens in little samples compared to the big bottles. Oh, a good fragrance can just put you in a totally different mood. I feel like a new person already. Like, every time I wear a new fragrance, it just transforms you. Like, do you guys have any favorite fragrances that you've worn on trips or any ones that you associate with really strong memories? I'm always so curious to hear about people's memories and fragrances because I have so many stories attached to fragrances. Um, you guys know I absolutely love fragrance. So if you guys have any stories about your favorite fragrance or ones that you've worn on vacation or ones that you have really strong memories to, let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear that kind of stuff. All right, guys, so we're going to seal all this skincare goodness in with the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. Now, again, shout out to Dear Claire's. They did send me this face mask as well. This is a vitamin C and niacinamide mask. 
You guys know I absolutely love those two ingredients. Oh, I've used this face mask a couple of times and it is so amazing, you guys. Not only does it smell amazing, the package is super cool and reflective. It's actually a jelly and almost like a little bit of a light putty. It will slip right out of here if I keep it upside down too long. The texture is just like silly putty. It's definitely not a regular cream. I am obsessed with this brightening mask. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. This face mask is actually from Gangnam. Gangnam style, anyone? Uh, let's take a little bit of this face mask. As you guys can see, it really is just like silly putty. It's not a traditional cream. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up right between my hands and kind of melt it down. If you've ever used an overnight mask, this is a really similar texture to kind of the Laneige overnight mask. I'm gonna apply this all over the skin. Ooh, I can feel the brightening happening already. Oh my gosh, guys, do you wanna hear something I've actually never talked about here on my channel? Would you believe that back in junior high, I starred in a musical? Dun 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 dun. I was actually in Guys and Dolls. I played Nathan Detroit. Hello, I was a main lead character. Can you guys believe that? I was rolling dice, I was playing craps, I was betting on horses, I was Nathan Detroit, I was in love with Adelaide. And you guys, the girl that played Adelaide in the musical actually follows me here on YouTube. I see you girl, if you're watching this, shout out special to you. Honestly, junior high was the good old days. I loved junior high, you guys. I was involved in so many different clubs. I was involved in so many different like theater club, music club. Everything was always so artistic. I think that's why I love YouTube so much. I'm definitely an artistic person and I love to express myself through art. That's why I love creating these videos and doing all these setups and all this elaborate lighting and editing. It just fulfills my artistic side and I love it. Anyway, back to the musical. That was actually the only acting that I've ever done, but I remember it took so much work and time to be in that musical. It took like a whole year's worth of preparation for the final performance at the end of the year, but it's so amazing when you're in a play and you finally make it to show date. Like, shout out to all the performers out there, whether you're a dancer, a singer, an actor. Like, doing creative things is so important in this world. So if you're an artistic person out there, Go with it. Try something new. Paint a painting. Start a YouTube channel. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. And that, guys, is a wrap on another face mask and chat video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming over and hanging out with me. I hope you did a little pamperation session. I hope you're looking a little more snatched and relaxed than you were when you started this video. If you want to hang out with me even more between now and next video, you can always watch more right here. And you can subscribe right here. If you made it to the end of this video, Romeo and I love and appreciate you so, so much. Say I love you, Romeo. Until the next video, guys. Me and Romeo can't wait to see you then. Bye, guys.